Hi, it's Jen here and welcome to Art at Home. Um, we're going to do a new technique for paint pouring and these are the supplies and materials that you will need. To start off, I'm going to show um, the paints that we're going to be using today. Uh, this is a yellow and this is just an acrylic paint. Um, you can find this at the Dollar Tree. Most of the materials that I have today um, I bought at Dollar Tree or at Walmart. Um, the idea of this is to keep it inexpensive and something that you can do for fun at home. Uh, this is black and then um, for the cells that we're going to create we're going to be using a silicone and Floetrol. Floetrol and silicone are going to help create the cells during um, the paint process. And this is also going to be included, it's a, a gloss medium and it's going to help kind of give a shiny finish to the paint when it dries. This paint, we don't want it to be too thick, so it's good to add a little bit of water so that the consistency is like um, a honey. It has a nice flow to it. It's not chunky and it flows really well and it'll flow really well on the canvas. So I'm just adding the paint on here in this direction just because this is something that I like to do but again this is something that you can be as creative as you want if you want to go from one end to the other or create circles any way you want to do it is totally fine when you do this you definitely want to cover the whole canvas Sometimes there's area that just needs to be filled in a little bit, so I'll just go back, kind of add the paint. Once we get to the end, when we drag the paint, this will all be covered. I'm not going to worry about the bottom because once we drag the paint across the whole canvas, it will be covered. Now I'm going to use black down the middle. This will be the color that we're going to drag across. Okay. Um, you can see that it's dripping. Um, you definitely want to have your surface cover. Uh, you don't want the paint to get all over the place. Uh, this is actually a puppy pad and it's really good because it absorbs the paint pretty fast. And you want to get all the edges clear so that the paint doesn't keep stretching off the canvas. And I'm gonna start dragging the paint now. And you could start from the top, from side to side, whichever way you prefer. This is all an abstract painting, meaning you're creating your own art piece. But I'm gonna start from the middle. And then once you start dragging this, you're going to see that cells are going to start popping out. And that's going to be created because of the, the silicone and the Floetrol mixing with the paint. If this paint was a little too thick, the cells would not be created because you need to have a good flow and consistency of the paint to drag across the whole canvas. And if you end up liking it, how it comes out, you can leave it like that. And if you see edges, like this one has an edge that's not covered, you can definitely take it off and start to move it around. But it's to your like. And I think I'm going to actually just leave this. I like how the cells are forming, so I'm going to let it dry. Um, the drying time will probably be about 24 to 48 hours, depending on the size of canvas. Um, this canvas isn't as big, so it'll probably be dry within 24 hours. And that's it for this technique um, of creating cells, and um, we'll see you next time.